So now I'm in the Palacio de Santa Ana or the Saint Anna, Anna Palace and I found this one by coincidence because I thought there's two botanical gardens and then I came here. Ne ne I was a bit lost. On, I looked on Google Maps and I saw this entrance and I said is this uh, the one I was looking for and the girl said no this is another one. I said oh there's two uh, botanical gardens. She said, no, there's three botanical gardens. So I entered this one first. The entrance is only two euros. And I'm just going to have a look around and make some movies and photos as usual. You receive a map when you go in and it's not very big, there's just one route, so that's, uh, that's very easy to do. And it's beautiful, it's very peaceful again, like all parks. Uh, it's impressive trees and impressive tree. quiet here and I'm gonna read some information again about this park. So it's called the Sant Anna Palace Park and it was built in the mid 19th century uh, but since 1978. So in the background you can see a little building but I can't really come close to that because that is the head office um, I'm reading here of the presidency of the government of the autonomous region of the Azores. So the Azores is like Madeira and like an autonomous region of Portugal. So they are they belong to Portugal, but they are also autonomous in the sense of they can have some different laws and rules from the Portuguese. Um, so they have their own um, government and they are the presidency of that is located in that building. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and the gardens around it, they serve like a, like a botanical garden. So. Yeah, it's very peaceful, it's very beautiful, there's a bit of everything, you have like um, the Macronesian forest, typical from here, uh, rose garden, very old impressive trees, and there's a bit of everything what, what is to be found in the Azores, so yeah, it's a really nice park.
yeah, the building in the background is where the Azorian government is based, like I explained. And now I understand why the girl at the entrance needed my ID. So I didn't even carry my passport with me. So it's like I have a Dutch driving license or a Spanish residency, but there's no photo on there. And she said, oh, the Spanish residency, it's okay. She just needed a number. But now I understand, so I found it a bit strange. I was like, it's not really a, a proven ID without a photo, but I understand now why she need the ID. Because of course, if the government is here, that's for security and they need to know who goes into this park. And yeah, so the nice thing is you hear birds. You hear birds everywhere. It's really nice. Parar o tempo. That must come from Spanish, parar al tiempo, or like if I translate it to Spanish, like stop the time. That's an interesting sculpture. Especially being in a park, the time really stops here. The time really stands still here. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, it's super green, as you can see, even the floors. So, the thing is, on the Azores it rains a lot, much more than in Madeira. Um, I like it because I've been on dry canaries too long, so I like to rain, and especially because I have to do a some riding and working with my laptop it's nice when it rains outside otherwise i just want to go out all the time and um, it's not cold so i'm the only one like yesterday i took my umbrella and i have the feeling the local people from azores don't even use umbrellas because probably they're so used to the rain and i'm a dutch one i should be used to it but i i'm not used to it anymore so yeah i'm all the time with my umbrella but some footpaths are really small so it's a bit yeah it's it's a bit annoying sometimes if you cross people but uh, maybe i should just get used to the rain as well um yeah, so that's uh, actually my first thing I see in Azores, a little park, two euros entrance, but I really like it because you see a lot of the native nature and it's kind of like a botanical garden. It's not huge, uh, you can walk around. So I think I'm in here just under an hour, but uh, yeah, I'm off to the next botanical garden. The rose garden. Welcome to the Azores. Now I'm in, uh, I'm still in Punta Delgada. That's where I stay uh, a little longer. And also because um, I didn't see much yet. It's my third day, second day. And yesterday I did a quick city walk, but it started to rain. And I also have an apartment, so I did some shopping so I can cook. And I have a lot of things to catch up from, from Madeira. I have so many photos, videos. I've been spending almost the whole day just sorting them out. So I didn't create anything yet. And as many of you know, I also like to finish safety stop books. So I have a lot of things to do. But today I'm going to enjoy botanical gardens.